Welcome to Homework Answers. We're going through the textbook Programming Logic and Design, 8th edition by Joyce Farrell. And in this video we're covering chapter, chapter 2, exercise 5a. Um, with this problem, I believe that you're only asked for the hierarchy chart. Uh, you may be asked for the code. I'd have to double check or, you know, you can check your book. It, it should tell you. Um, I just want to say, forgive me if this hierarchy chart is not the best. Uh, this is a not my strongest area, but um, you know, as always, I, I code it out. I make a program so you can, you know, you may find that this chart right here is I'm missing some, you know, elements here, or it's just, you know, this may be in detail loop, or maybe there is no housekeeping part, but uh, check out page 60 and that's going to show you the three main areas and page 64 to 66 basically explain hierarchy charts. So uh, take it easy on me <laughs> if, if this just isn't the best, but I have coded it out. So if you, if you look at this and you're like, oh, I know how to make a hierarchy chart off of this, then, you know, I'll you know, just dismiss whatever I have and if you think your way is better then by all means use it. Um, and as always I, I've switched certain things um, so maybe numbers or names and if you have the book you'll just have to make those simple corrections but the structure is basically the same. Uh, with this problem we are you know uh, let's see I guess there's a transaction going on here. Um, we need our sales price, our purchase price, and we need to find a profit. We're also calculating in tax as well. So uh, if you look at the hierarchy chart, the way I've done it is I've put main program. This is the program. And then I've got housekeeping task. You may have like declare your variables. I'm not sure. That's something I, it didn't really go into. I don't know. I guess so skim through the book too fast but you know you've got sales or get sales price and the way I've always understood it is that you have the first interaction goes into the housekeeping task that's the way it seemed but then again I could be wrong I've got the detailed loop here next and what happens in that is you'll get your purchase price so you continue interaction with the user or you know you go into the calculations computing tax computing the profit and you'll see, you know, these areas here, computing the tax and the profit. And then with this end of job, you'll just display the summaries. And that's basically it for the hierarchy chart I have. Uh, so if we look at the code, um, of course, I've put this include IO, MA, and IP because we'll be using set precision and fixed in order to get our decimal places. I've set it to two. If you don't have fixed here, remember that it'll only really display two numbers. You have to have fixed here in order to tell it to display two decimal places. But if we look up here, I've got the variables and a constant, and the sales tax is just going to be 7.5%. Then I've got tax, sales price, purchase price, profit, they're all declared, and initialized to zero. And the outputs, or the inputs, are going to be entering the sales price, the purchase price, and the calculations. You can see they're pretty simple. Finding the tax is just sales price times that constant sales tax, and then you'll get the number for what your tax is. And then your profit, you know, you're going to have sales price plus the tax, and then minus the purchase price. So you're going to you're going to end up um, outputting the tax, and you're going to output the profit, and you're going to I'll put a little statement. I believe it wants you to say something, so this isn't what the book says to say, but I've just put thank you for your business. So let's go ahead and run this program and check it out. Okay, enter the sales price here. Um, it's 230. 76. And then the purchase price. Uh, Let's do, I you know, purchased it for 
89. So the tax on the transaction is 9.81. The profit I've made is 37.68 and thank you for your business. So very simple, uh, not too much to it. I guess the biggest part is figuring out you know, the hierarchy chart. So that's about it. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.